Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you. And it's for Wednesday, the 20th day of July, 14th day of Tammuz. Here we go. And more laws coming at you now about the nine days. The three weeks are just about here, and the nine days are soon after that. So one of the rules is going to be that Mishenichnas Av Mematin Besimcha. When the month of Av arrives, then we try to lessen our happiness. So we will not schedule anything party like we've already discussed that. But if you have, let's say, something like a lawsuit coming, and it was scheduled for the nine days. That's not good. It's not an auspicious time for a Jew. That's when our tragedies happened, unfortunately, and we would not want to schedule that type of event during the nine days. So if possible, it's best to try to postpone that lawsuit until after the whole month of Av, but at the very least, try to have it postponed at least until after the nine days, because that's really not our good time. Uh, the Halacha does say that you should try to decrease business, if at all possible, during the nine days, except in cases of great loss. Now, we are lenient on that one today, uh, because the way businesses can conducted today, you know, if you're very wealthy and you could, uh, you know, not make any big acquisitions then, then fine, you know, if you can manage to arrange it. But a lot of salaried employees, unless they're taking vacation, then are not really going to be in a position to tell their boss, well, I'm just not going to do as much these days. So if you're stuck doing your regular work during the nine days, we are lenient about that. The custom is to not buy objects of simcha, like beautiful pieces of silver or things of the sort. And uh, if there's any building going on, you should try to, to suspend that building also. Now, if the building is for a mitzvah, like the shul is being fixed up, or the mikvah is being fixed up, or somebody's putting a fence around the roof, which is a mitzvah, then those kinds of things continue, of course. Um, a non-Jew who is doing some work on your home or something, you he is allowed to continue officially, but if possible, it's best to try to have the person, uh, you know, you offer him a little extra and you say, would you mind, just go off to another job for the nine days, I'll pay you a little bit extra just to delay my job if he's willing, and if you can manage to do that, that would be a good thing to do during the nine days. Uh, technically, though, he's allowed to continue if you're stuck, but we just don't like that look of, you know, beautiful repair, painting, or decorating, or whatever going on in your home, even by a non-Jew, while it's, after all, it's the nine days. So try to keep that in mind. Thanks for logging on, and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.